What's up? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's up, guys? How was your weekend? What'd you do? Please scream into the screen what you did this weekend, and we will use artificial intelligence to calculate the answer. Okay, so we're getting the results back now using technology. Let's see, what, what'd, you, what'd you do? What'd you do this weekend? Oh, you went to Benihana. Says you went to Benihana. <laughs> cool. Cool. What they do? They flip the shrimp in your mouth? Did you catch the shrimp in your mouth? Cool. Benny, how about Peter Thiel, thank you so much for uh, giving us your time, hosting us here in your office. Never heard of uh, it. It's great to be with you. Uh, okay. The first thing I want to ask you is actually two questions that are very tied in together. You're one no, of just the one at a time, man. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, hey. Hey, just remembered. Are you guys familiar with... You got that little crazy laugh. When I say that... Dude, you have such a crazy... <laughs> you have a crazy laugh, don't you? Because I think for these first video guys, we got a new... You got a little crazy lap. I think we got a new one. <laughs> That's how we normally start our interviews. Let's get it over with. Right. <laughs> Look at his Hello face. and welcome to Trigonometry. I'm Francis Foster. Uh -huh. Oh, come on, dog. <laughs> our brilliant guest today is already taking the piss out of us. It's the amazing American comedian Theo Vaughn. Welcome Bro, to Trigonometry. You guys have, we call it autism. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you guys call it. Bro. Get that little crazy. Crazy laugh. Okay, anyway, YouTube's been showing me some uh, videos about Peter Thiel. Pete. I call him Pete. I don't know what's going on, but YouTube has been recommending me a lot of Pete videos. All right, all right, let's check it out. We all know, because we grew up without the internet, that most of the way the conversations are had online is bullshit. Take it back. But younger generations don't. Okay. Are you worried about what social media is doing to us? Yes, I am. You know, I, I always think it's too easy to turn social media or... Mm various other Silicon Valley uh, tech companies into into the scapegoats for all of our problems. Right. And uh, surely the the bigger problem, you know, maybe, you know, the, surely the bigger problems are things like um, the failure of, of the schools, okay. the wokeness of, you know, K through exactly. 12 schools, exactly. the uh, derangements that. of the universities. Okay, anything else you want to ask? Go ahead. Boom, boom, boom. boom. I mean, if you right. think the wokeness, let's compare it to a virus. I mean, that's a standard okay. uh, metaphor. It, 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 it's really the, the, the it's, it's how it's how it transmitted really into okay. everybody's brain. It started at the university, and then okay. it went. Okay. Yeah, but I, I um. Go ahead, Peter. I still, I, I still think that was not. Again, we can. It's very hard to know these these, yeah. these cultural arguments, but. I don't know. I, I'd, I'd be open to sort of a religious interpretation that it's um, it is you know it is uh, Christ Christianity the you know the main religion of the Western world uh, you know right. it, it always takes the side of the victim and uh, how many views on this bad boy? Do whoa do two hundred thousand in seven days? Wow! Boom 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 boom! Not bad for one day. Let's see what some of the commenters have to say. Funny how Peter is founder and chairman of Palantir. And yet he's worried about a totalitarian totalitarian world. Why did you not ask him about Palantir and the CIA? That should have been the first thing you asked him about. Seriously, seriously. What's this other one say? Okay, okay. The commenters kind of commenters kind of read my mind on this one. Uh, here's another one. This guy's a genius and not saying much. Hey, show him some uh, respect. Okay, here's another one. I guess you weren't allowed to ask him about. Palantir, the, okay, okay. Okay, what, there's another one? Says the guy behind Palantir. 16 replies, whoa. What does it say? I came here to say this. Came here to say, well, what? Came here as well today, this. Say this, hey, hey, get that grammar on point. This is a YouTube comment. Boom. Okay, so anyway, uh, YouTube knows I'm a teal dude. YouTube knows I'm into teal, so they recommended me this video too. What the hell is this crap? What the hell is this goddamn video? Peter Teal at, at Cambridge. Okay, let's check that out. Okay, okay, thanks. Scarcity of question. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, Palantir released um, a quarterly report to a couple of days ago. And, uh, okay. And in this regard, I have a question. There is a lot of mystery around what Palantir is doing, and my right. question is, what exactly Palantir does, because 
when it comes, like, okay. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, let's, let's, get, let's take a different question. I'm, I'm not, I, I really don't want to do corporate propaganda and I'm, I, I probably will violate some securities law if I do. Okay. Um, so what do you think about the use of artificial intelligence or lavender by the IDF in identifying okay. Hamas targets? Oh, and boy. secondly, do you agree with... Oh, come on, man. He doesn't want to talk about that. Here's the most important thing to know about this Palantir thing. The company's name is derived from the Lord of the Rings, where the magical Palantiri, 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 were seeing stones. So when that guy asked, what, what is this thing, Palantir, what is that? Peter Thiel just should have, <laughs> Peter Thiel should have just said, It's Bilbo. <laughs> what is it? It's Bilbo. No, come on, it's not Bilbo. So, you will be escorted out of the chamber if you don't sit down, please. Whoa! Okay. Man, I, I, Easy, Peter. Am I allowed okay. to respond to yeah, that? Yeah, if, you, if you'd I like. I, I feel I shouldn't dignify it with a response, but it is, Whoa, it hey, is Pete, just... Come on. You know, this is just... Um, calm calm you down. Are, you, you are... You are... It's, 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 it's sort of feel... Look. Um, Easy. It sort of feels like the pot calling the kettle black or people in glass houses shouldn't throw rocks, what? but... <clears throat> okay, why is that lady yelling at Pete? Why is that lady? Okay, whatever. Uh, so this guy, Peter Thiel, he's one of the, you know, founders, main guys at this company. None of this is secret information, by the way. This is all out there. It's kind of funny that that guy asks, what, what does that company do? What the, what the hell does it say? As one of the world's most advanced data mining companies with ties to the CIA, Palantir's quote-unquote work, hey, was supplying Israel's military and intelligence agencies with advanced and powerful targeting capabilities. The precise capabilities that allowed Israel to place three drone-fired missiles into three clearly marked aid vehicles. Oh, God. Oh, man. It's a tough one for these guys. What's their channel called? Trigonometry. I saw one of these guys in Austin, actually. I don't know if I should say this. I kind of felt sorry for this guy because he clearly just came from the airport. He's probably going on Joe Rogan or something. And it, he had his little wheelie bag, like at a diner. I was like, oh, man. Sucks to have to wheel that thing around. Didn't have time to drop that thing off. Before we go to the diner, wheeling that thing around. Anyway, that's not super important. But uh, it's kind of a tough one for this 200,000 view <laughs> interview. They were probably only allowed to talk about certain things. And the one thing that their audience, you know, all this. The one thing that their audience is really interested in, they can't really talk about. So then it's like, okay, so what do, what do we talk about then? Why are we doing this interview? Okay, go ahead. Is always the same, which is what's the one thing we're not talking about? You talked earlier about political correctness preventing people right. from saying what okay. they should. What should we be talking about? Okay, finally, man, it's, it's just it's, it's it, it is it it's is Bilbo. just always this this crisis of the West. How we get back to the future that we've been going through, and that that okay. that's that's surely uh, you know how, how do you know okay how do how do we create a, a better world for the young? generation right in, in in these western societies mm. well give us Adobe, some ideas on that it's uh it's okay. you know I, I think so much the i i would always say the paradoxical answers you know maybe maybe i'll, maybe I'll disagree with the premise of the question you know it's, <laughs> or, 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 <laughs> okay that's enough definitely a weird interview because if you just saw this if you're just a common youtube moron or cym like me you stumble across this you go what you go do you know if you're like me looking at this and going, what? If you're like me looking at this and you're going, oh, <laughs> you're just like, oh, this guy sounds like what? Some kind of like techno, techno optimist, libertarian guy or something. But then you look into the backstory, the very publicly known, as we could tell from the comments, backstory. You know, it's all surveillance, war, this, <laughs> this. <laughs> it's all twitching and twisting. And worst of all, it's Bilbo. <laughs> okay. Come on. You know, there's sort of a lot of different ways in which you, one can ask, you know, is the woke, diverse, uh, multicultural, right. you know, how is it entangled? Okay. We, don't, we don't ask these religious questions anymore. And uh, I, think, I think it is, you know, it would pay okay. a lot um, of dividends to somehow ask how it is entangled with Christianity. It somehow is... That's in the Bible! Okay, sorry. 
to describe it as simply an alternate religion. It is somehow extremely adjacent to Christianity. Right. Like Christianity, it takes the side of the victims. You know, it's the, the Bible takes the side of the victim. And in some ways, you know, um, wokeness, all, all of these kinds of movements are, are, um, are, are somehow downstream from that. Right. And then somehow... Uh, okay, so, you know, we're kind of avoiding the stuff that a lot of people are interested in with the military stuff, the intelligence stuff, okay. But even in just his kind of public speaking, philosophical stuff, it's kind of all over the place. Peter Thiel kind of all over the place, you know. In this part, he's like, woke liberalism is an extreme version of Christianity. So he's kind of critical of Christianity, but the problem, <laughs> but then it seems like the problem he has with Christianity is that it sides with the victim all the time. You know, like, well, what am I supposed to take from this, Peter, you know? You know, should we never take the side of victims, I, gu I guess? I would ask. It's weird. I guess I would say. It's weird and... It's Bilbo. <laughs> it, um, it always distracts us from our just questions of economics. Okay. And, uh, okay. and if you wanted a, you know, a, a libertarian or even a Marxist critique right. of... Identity politics, okay. DEI, multiculturalism, etc. Right, all that is yeah. that it's strangely not focused on these economic questions. And when Something we are, like that. you know, when when we are, um, and uh, and okay. and there sort of are all these strange ways that uh, the economy has not worked that well for forty or fifty years. There are right. there are reasons for people to be that. frustrated. Uh, the frustration, you know, often gets gets misdirected, but but it is sort of this this very deep question of what what has gone wrong in, in all these different economic spheres. And when you focus on categories like race um, or gender uh, or all these other identity categories, a, uh, a Marxist critique would be you're not focused on class, you're not focused on on the nuts and bolts of the economy. That, uh, you know, if, if Rosa Luxemburg, a, uh, the, the, the Marxist theorist, the early, you know, 20th century, if she were here, she, okay. would, uh, she would be telling you that that gentleman or, you know, anybody who is not Ooh. focused on the economy right. is simply a member of the reactionary class. Even the economy is, is sort of an abstraction. I always think the, uh, the, the more concrete economic thing to try to focus on are, okay. are things like housing, real estate. This is from just a couple months ago, you know, and he's like, man, all this stuff... All this stuff people argue about, they should be focusing on economic crap. You know, but it's kind of weird because at the same time, this guy's investing a massive amount. A massive amount of this. And a massive amount of this. You know, and this guy who might be the next vice president? James Dean Vance, I think his name is. You know, a guy who every other thing is cat ladies. People should have to stay married <laughs> by law. Anti-abortion anti-gay stuff and that's because it's bullshit and that's because it's bilbo <laughs> well guys there we go that's pretty much all you need to know about pete oh wait dip 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 i'm getting an alert before we go we got a person of the day You believe that thing about all the monkeys? You leave them alone with the typewriter for a million years, they, they, they compose all the works of Shakespeare? Yeah, that's mathematically definite, but what do you mean here? I don't believe it. What do you mean? <laughs> I think it's going to be all fucked up. But if you do it long enough, infinitely, every per Who's going to edit that? You'd have to find you all the works of Shakespeare. Joe Rogan, you don't edit Shakespeare. Take him eight. Easy, don't take it so literally, Joe. Come on. To find all those words in those monkeys. There's no way they're going to write those letters in that order. Come if on, Joe. If it's infinite, yes. Infinite. Right, yeah. that's the whole point. I think infinitely it sucks infinitely. I think unless they evolve, if it's infinite and then the monkeys grow up to become humans and they figure if out you how are to write hitting like keys, If you're hitting keys at random, Come eventually on. you're going to write out Shakespeare's Perfectly. <laughs> Calm down, Joe. Come on. Yes, I totally agree with Joe on this. Even if it is infinite, that Shakespeare that those monkeys write will be all f***. Up. Those monkeys don't know shit, and they're all up. Thanks to Predicates Man for posting that on Reddit. 
God bless you. He's actually the person. It's not even Joe Rogan. He's the person of the day. What's the guy's name? Predicates Man. Big shout out to Predicates Man. He gets one of these. Boom, 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 boom. And he gets one of these. Well, guys, we're not going to talk about the day. I don't want to know about it, and I don't want to talk about it. If anybody needs me, I will be at Benihana. Benny Hana. It's Bilbo. Love you guys. Talk to you next time. Bye bye. Hey, <laughs> what's up, guys? Uh, I tried to record this outro thing where I said what I'm saying now to I'm Gonna Keep On Loving You by Ario Speedwagon, but it kept cop every time it kept copyright striking it, even if it sounded basically nothing like the actual song. So now I'm doing this instead. Please, for Christ the Lord's sake, subscribe on Patreon. The link is in the description, okay? Uh, you click down there. You click down there. You go down there. You do your little clicks down there. Because, look. <sighs> I've fallen on hard times. <laughs> I've fallen on hard times. No. Please, subscribe on page Patreon. What the hell is the goddamn stupid thing called Patreon? Because of is that if you don't, this show is gone, man. It's over. This thing is shadow banned. It's gone, man. If we don't have the patrons, then this thing's going right in the dumpster, in the toilet, all of that kind of thing. Okay? Oh, hey, what do you get on Patreon every episode of the show, every single goddamned week? Uh, all kind of additional stuff. The comments show where you can say whatever you want it turns into a whole hours and hours long show uh and then lots of other crap oh the live show is up there too the professionally it's it's like a netflix special that thing it's like a netflix special except for if someone doesn't know what they're doing that's the special live from new york city <laughs> so, i mean you get all this kind of crap so if you want the show to exist uh, in continuum, in in ad nauseum. Please subscribe on Patreon. Thank you. Goodbye. It's Bilbo. It's Bilbo.